Coco. Welcome to Gumby Max Kids Preschool. I'm Thea. I'm, we're going to show you around. A green bag means we go outside. A red frog means we go to the gym. This is our playground. Let's go inside. There's so many fun things to do. The tire swing's my favorite. Every class gets their own bathroom. Everybody gets their own cubby. This is our classroom. There's so much to play with. Now we want to meet Mrs. Cohen. She's the director of our school. Thanks, guys. I'm so excited to welcome you to the GMPS 2021 school year. I'd like you to meet our wonderful teachers. Hi, I'm Jen Gemignani. I teach the Tuesday, Thursday twos and the Monday, Wednesday, Friday threes. Hi, I'm Rhonda Greco and I will be teaching the Monday through Thursday AM and PM classes this year. Hi, I'm Holly Bell. I teach mo uh, Monday, Wednesday twos in room one. And I also teach the young threes, which is Tuesday, Thursday, Friday morning. Hi, I'm Kristen Miller, and I teach the Monday and Wednesday twos and the Tuesday, Thursday, Friday young threes. Hi, I'm Maggie Regula. I teach the Monday through Friday fours. Hi, I'm April Hassan, and I teach the Monday through Thursday a.m. fours. Hi, I'm Denise Fetke, and I teach the Tuesday, Thursday twos and the Monday, Wednesday, Friday threes. Hi, I'm Kathy Fay, and I teach the Monday through Thursday threes. Hi, I'm Karen Friedman. I teach Monday through Friday four-year-olds. Hi, my name is Julie Kahn. I will be teaching Monday through Thursday threes and Monday through Thursday PM fours. I know there are concerns on every parent's mind right now, but I believe it's time to get our GMPS students back in the classroom and I'm confident we can do this safely. I'd like to share with you some of the things we will be doing here at school to keep the students and staff healthy. We will be limiting persons entering the building to staff and students, except in extenuating circumstances. We know this is a big change, especially for our two students, but we ask for your support in our effort to follow this important policy. Remember, if you can fake confidence, your child will do the same. Daily health checks, including temperature screening, will be performed on everyone entering the building. We will be running three car lines to allow maximum distancing at drop off and pick up. This map is included in your welcome packet and you will receive details specific to your class in your Zoom orientation meeting. Classes will be in cohorts of 12 in the twos and 15 in the threes and fours classes with two teachers. These groups will not intermingle. We will have separate washroom facilities for each classroom. There will be no sharing of equipment between classrooms and we will be following strict cleaning regimens in the classrooms using non-toxic, child-safe, EPA COVID-approved disinfectants. We will be utilizing an outside service specializing in COVID-19 spraying, disinfecting, and sanitizing for daily maintenance and for intermittent deep cleaning as needed. Please feel free to contact me anytime with your questions or concerns. I'd now like to introduce Rebecca Wills, our office coordinator. She's helped many of you through the enrollment process and she has some helpful information to help you through the school year. Hi, as office coordinator, I oversee most of the school's administrative functions, such as registration, school forms, tuition payments, and, on, and our online portal. Most of you have already created a website account. This allows you to log into the parent portal. You can do so by clicking on the parent portal at the top right of the screen. In the parent portal, you can access school directories, forms, and other resources. The documents that are due for your child to start the school year are the following. Birth certificate, medical and lead, which are good for two years, an emergency form, waiver, and the DCFS summary of standards acknowledgement. You will receive an invoice anytime a tuition payment or other charge is due. On the due date, I will run the charge through your preferred method of payment account. If you would like to pay another way, such as check or cash, please do so before the due date. If you need to change your method of payment, you can fill out a new Tuition Express form in the parent portal and choose updating information. If you have any other questions that I can answer, feel free to email me at any time. Now we're gonna have a few teachers that are gonna fill you in on some all school general information. 
Hi, I am Julie Kahn, and I am going to talk to you about some essentials that we want to tell you about at Glenview Methodist Preschool. First of all, we would like everyone to come to school wearing play clothes and gym shoes. Label everything either with a Sharpie or you can use Mabel's labels. Send extra clothes in your child's backpack in a Ziploc and please include some extra masks as well. We will be keeping extra masks at school for them. We prefer big backpacks as opposed to small, so please keep that in mind when you're getting ready for school. We are not going to have you bring water bottles this year. We will be supplying plastic cups and water at school. We will also be supplying snack, we are a nut-free school, so everything will be nut-free at school. And if you have a birthday coming up, please check the birthday list on the website and contact your teacher and make plans accordingly. Uh, thank you so much. Hi, I'm Karen Friedman. I'm a teacher here at Glenview Methodist Preschool. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit today about safety and communication. We have two sets of doors at either end of our preschool and they're locked all the time. There is a buzzer and a camera system so we know who approaches our school and we're very aware of all that. Karen Cohn takes care of all of the door systems. We're gonna be utilizing three car line drop-offs and pickups this year. Your individual teachers will tell you which door you'll be dropping off and picking up. The most important thing though is we are a no cell phone zone. So just pay attention to your kids, say your final goodbyes to them, welcome them when they get back in your car. When you're dropping off your child, please make sure that you and your child are both wearing masks and then a teacher will approach your car and do a temporal check to make sure and just an overlook to make sure that they're looking healthy that day. If your child is sick, please keep them home. This is a very important year to keep the sniffles and everything at home. And then for Glenview Methodist Preschool, there's three big ways that we communicate to the parents. We utilize the Remind application. You're gonna to wanna to sign up for the big school, the whole school's Remind. That is gonna be when Karen Cohn gives you some things about weather updates and if we're inside or outside. And your own individual classroom teachers will utilize the Remind app. So then they can give you um, reminders to turn in any kind of project information or project materials. There's also each classroom has their own classroom news and that comes out weekly. So you're gonna to wanna to look for pictures and look for updates of what's going on in the classroom. And on Fridays, you're gonna receive our all school news called the Friday Focus. Please make sure that you're receiving um, emails from Constant Contact. Sometimes they end up in spam folders. Um, looking forward to a great year. Welcome aboard. Hi, my name is Lori Mall. I'm mom to Alexis, who's in the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday threes class, as well as Addison, who's in K-Club, our kindergarten and enrichment program. In addition to that, I'm serving as the president of our board of directors this year. So on behalf of myself and the entire board, I'd like to say welcome. We're so glad to have you back at school this fall. If you're new to the GMPS community, I'd like to extend a special welcome. We're so glad you've chosen GMPS. We hope that you find it as welcoming and rewarding as we have. We've got a few things to cover tonight, but I'd like to start with an overview of our board of directors, including who we are and what we do. This year, the board of directors is a group of 14 parent volunteers that support our director, Karen Cohen, with the management of our school's operations. The roles come with a wide ranging list of responsibilities that include, but are not limited to, managing the school budget, budget fundraising, marketing, and the planning of family and social events. With that in mind, I'd like to take a minute to introduce each of our board members. While we would normally see each other often in the hallways or at social events, much like everything in life now, things are a bit different. So if you see them in the car line or just out and about, please don't hesitate to wave and say hi or just reach out should you have any questions. Without further ado, we'll start with our executive board members. You'll, you've already met me, but serving as vice president this year is Beverly Margener. Beverly served as the social co-chair last year. She has a son, Merrick, in the Tuesday, Thursday, Friday twos class and a son, Sebastian, in the Monday, Thursday AM fours class. After overseeing the annual fundraising benefit last year, Heather Kolb has stepped into the role as treasurer. She has a daughter, Logan, in the Tuesday, Thursday twos class and a son, Parker, in the Monday through Thursday AM fours class. 
Eric Paticha is new to the board to this year, taking over the role of long range planning. He has a son, Noah, in the Monday through Thursday threes class. Wrapping up the exec board are Kristen McColgan and Kristen Fox. They will serve as co-secretaries. Each have held several different positions on the board during their time at GPS, but most recently served as president and vice president respectively. Kristen McColgan has a daughter, Kendall, in the Monday through Thursday 4 p.m.s class and a, and a son, Colin, a graduate of GMPS. Kristen Fox has a daughter, Emma, in the Monday, Wednesday, Friday 3s class, a daughter, Maddie, in K-Club, and a son, Graham, who's a GMPS graduate. Moving on to roles included in the full board, we have our fundraising co-chairs, Jessica Burke and Heather Gilman. Jessica has a son, Lucas, in the Tuesday, Thursday 2s class, and a son, PJ, in the Monday through Thursday AM 4s class. Heather has a son, George, in the Monday through Friday 4s class. Co-chairing our social position are Katie Hunt and Corey Holshuter. Katie is in her second year as social co-chair. She has a son, Connor, in the Monday through Thursday 3s class, a son, Henry, in K-Club, and a daughter, Haley, who is a GMPS graduate. Corey has a son, Leo, in the Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday 2s class, and a son, Parker, who is in K-Club. Next, we have our volunteers chair, Katie Jones, and hospitality chair, Melissa Wilson. Katie has a daughter, Scarlett, in the Tuesday, Thursday, Friday 2s class, and a daughter, Savannah, in K-Club. Melissa has a daughter, Hallie, in the Monday through Friday 4s class. On our media relations team is Andrea DiMattina. Andrea has a son, Luke, in the Monday through Thursday 3s class, and a son, Cameron, who is in the Monday through Thursday 4s class. Our final board position is our benefit chair, Dana Trumbull. She has a son, Bubba, in the Monday through Thursday 3s class. Two other volunteers I'd like to recognize are Amanda Wetterman and Jen Eunice. Amanda runs our Scholastic Book Orders, and Jen Eunice will oversee our philanthropic efforts. Now that you met the great group that makes up our board and volunteer roles, I encourage you to reach out should you have any questions about what we do or how it works. Additionally, I'd like to welcome you to join any of our board meetings. They're open to any GMPS parent. We'd love to have you out. Come join us. Next up, I'd like to touch base on some of our annual fundraisers that you can take part of from the comfort of your own home. First up is Mabel's Labels. This is a company that makes personalized waterproof labels for our kids' clothing and supplies. These labels can be ordered online where you can select Glenview Methodist Preschool as your fundraiser you'd like to support. 20% of all proceeds go directly to GMPS. Next up is the Heinen's Tasteful Rewards Program. If you shop at Heinen's, all you need to do is get a Heinen's Preferred Card, sign up for the Tasteful Rewards Program, and select GMPS. 1% of your purchases will be donated directly to GMPS. Just a reminder, if you're already a member of the program, GMPS must be reselected each September to continue receiving your reward dollars. Last, but certainly not least, is Amazon Smile. Amazon Smile is a program that donates 0.5% of your eligible purchases on Amazon to the charity of your choice. Participation is easy. When doing your normal shopping online, shop through the link smile.amazon.com or activate the program in the settings portion of your app. If you have any questions regarding Mabel's Labels, Heinen's, or Amazon Smile, more information can be found in your orientation packet. And if you have questions beyond that, please don't hesitate to reach out to your fundraising co-chairs, Jessica Burke and Heather Gilman at gmpsfundraising at gmail.com. Lastly, I'd like to touch on our annual fundraising benefit. Traditionally, we have held our benefit at a venue in town as a fun evening out for parents and staff. The event supports the school and our kids through proceeds generated from live and silent auctions. The benefit will likely have take on a much different look this year. Conversations surrounding what that look might be are ongoing and we welcome any and all ideas from our parent group. If you have any suggestions, please feel free to, to contact our benefit chair, Dana Trumbull at gmpsbenefit at gmail.com. On behalf of the board, that concludes our portion of tonight's presentation. We thank you for your time. We're looking forward to another great year at GMPS. Great. We we hope. Hope.